this is Aiden from Macau Well. So in today's video, we're going to show you how we turn these empty walls of the house into a modern and stylish wall finishing. As you guys may already know, we Macau Well are the manufacturer of decorative lime based plaster. In our previous video, we have shown tons of tutorials in how to create different wall design. So today, we thought it is best to show you the process of our whole makeover project in a condominium in the Sapataling. So if you think your wall is bored and dull, then these videos might be interesting for you. The first wall we are showing here is this wall in the living room, roughly about 280 square feet. So upon the client request, we will be applying Makova Walma for this wall. Ensure you get your wall ready before the application of lime-based plaster. Tapping up the edges with plastic tape and covering up the floor with plastic sheets so you can easy to clean up the mess after. So first of all, place just enough amount of warmer to the side of the drawer. Make sure the plaster is mixed well beforehand. Then, apply the plaster at angle of 45 degree. Keep the drawer at a slight angle. Distribute the plaster as even and consistent as possible. Plaster should be applied in thin layers, just enough to make the wall flat and even. Then, use your trowel to run it over again to smoothen out the surface. Take note that first layer will take around 4 hours to dry, depending on various conditions. There are three types of finishes in Makoa land based plaster, and Roma is just one of them. It is used to create glossy marble-like finish, and it can also be called as Venetian plaster, marmorino, or polish plaster. So if you wonder how many colors do we have in our standard color range, there are actually 20 colors for you to choose from. And for this particular wall, we are using code ma 3 And 5 kg of the plaster can cover up to 70 square feet, and it is also available in 25 kg as well. When the first layer is dried, apply the second layer with even thinner layer. Be careful as the second layer which shows the texture depends on how you throw over the plaster. Make sure to apply them in an even manner. Next, burnish when the plaster is still wet. Burnish with the trowel when the plaster is at 50% dry. Make sure your trowel is clean all the time during the burnishing process to prevent it from damaging the plaster. Now when the plaster is 80% dry, sand the wall in small, circular motions with sanding machine and 4000 grit sandpaper. The more you sand, the more contrast there will be in the colour due to the heat and friction. You should see the texture between the first layer of the plaster and the second. Let it dry overnight. You can now apply the Marco Oval Metallic Ball Wax by sponge, thrower or soft cloth. Remember to wipe and polish the wall with soap cloth right away to extra sheen and remove excess wax. If you haven't noticed how beautiful texture wall is, behind me is the best demonstration. As you can see, it brings some more character and personality to the interior. It is so elegant and unique due to the reflections and the glossy plaster finish. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below and slam the notification buttons to show your support. I'm Aiden and I'm from Marco Abel. Stay tuned to our next video as we'll be showing others room with different textural design. See you soon. Bye.